Hello, I'm Dwight Norris, FishingNetwork.com. I'm here on the Charles River, right on the Braille Trail for another quick day of Saturday morning. Well, I mean, Saturday afternoon, fishing with the sun. Don't got long, got plans with the friends tonight. So I'm gonna hit up the fishing when I can, which is right now, right after lunch. After this guy was prepared to go out. So, you know, when you're in that situation, get ready. So, check it. So the day I started off with a quick hopper, but didn't want to work out so well. So I got something a little different here. It's a little jig head, white hair, has a spinner underneath. It's like an inline spinner, but it's under the head. I haven't used these since I was a kid, but I picked up a yellow one, which is in my bag, but I also found out I have a white one that was just sitting there in my tackle box for who knows how long. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I know the, the white color here at Charles River actually works pretty well for crappy. The green works for everything else, like bluegill and bass. So, you know, if you have a different interpretation of color when it comes to these type of lures, please tell me down below. Now I'm gonna try out some spots and see what happens. My son has those fish bites bloodworm alternatives on, so he's going bluegill fishing. I'm trying to hit some bass, perch, or crappy. And my son is killing it with the fish bites on the, on the bluegills and the uh, pumpkin seed, and even a bass bit, but he wasn't quite fast enough. It was really small. But um, I'm just rolling this up again right here. It's lily pads, so there's fish coming out of there, there's a little, little brush, there's some trees over here, there's fish just popping out everywhere. Yo, I just hooked up with the big boy. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right here. Look at the belly on that boy. He tore up this, uh, whoa, look at this on video. This little spinner with the inline spinner. I was just talking about, yo, it's on fall bass fishing. They're feeding. Oh, baby, this makes me feel so good. Oh, yes. But um, this puppy's about two or so pounds. I'll put up some data later in a second once I measure it with my hand. I didn't bring my, I didn't bring my lymph, my lymph thing for fish brain, but yo, fish brain picture. So my son took my famous big bass catching lure away from me. So now I'm stuck with the fish bites, but guess what? I'm still knocking it out. Woo, it is a great day to be fishing. Come out here, man. Charles River, you know, wherever you are in the world. Today is a great day to go fishing. Came upon some more bass in the one to, I don't know, one and a half pound range out here. They did chase it, but right at the end, they decided, hmm, I don't know about this man. The other one was just straight up hungry. So I've been seeing a little bit more bass than usual out here, even when it's shallow water. And now my son has a bite, so I have to go. Got the uh, yellow perch action going here. Just a little further out, probably that, about 30 feet off the shore. Um, my hand like so we had a great day of fishing lots of fish bluegills yellow perch big mouth bass it's a real success and it's really happy to be out here today so if you are trying to get out here today please try it out go to the website fishnetwork.com i have everything you need and the 10-step process to go fishing at work it's on a little window just below the fold and i'm going to add it to the top the, you know the links on the top soon so it'll be more easier for you to find it and it's completely free no email no nothing click it download consume go fishing very simple and if you need more help go to the bottom of the page and there you'll see the link to the everyday fishing system which i've made a video format with tons of detail about all the situations and problems q a that you have and how you can resolve them to go fishing more often so check it and then get out and go fishing